Hey, hey, Tom here from Audio Ordeal, and I'm going to be showing you how to create the best ADSR envelope. So what I have here is a very basic synthesizer. We have the gate input triggering the envelope, being controlled by the attack, decay, sustain, and release. And then we have the note pitch feeding into a pulse generator controlled by the envelope. And I've also used a little add module to add the pitch bend so I can do pitch. Now as you can see, I can make the attack long, decay short, like so, and make it the other way around as well. So it hits really hard and decays out. So what we're going to do is have a little analyze of what the wires are doing and see how we can make a difference. So make sure you have toggle debug mode on, it's the little insect. This means we can hover over any wire and it sends a number and you can view that number that is being sent along the wire. So the gate one's good, it sends between 0 and 1. So if I hit the key really hard, it sends 1. If I hit it very gently, 0 0.03. If I hit medium, 0 0.44. So this is good because it's not just on and off, it's not just binary, it's got a little bit of a scale between it. So we can use this to control various different parameters. So we can use it to control the overall volume. But we don't have to do that, we can actually make it control more than just that. We can make it control various different sounds. For example, we can add it to the sustain. So math add add to the sustain and all of a sudden it will play a very very hard sustain if you play anything above medium level because it's adding from 0 0.37 if we're adding 0 0.488 it's the sustain is almost at max. So one thing we can do, if we want to turn this down a little bit, is we can just multiply out by 0 0.5, 0 0.1, however much we want to do it. I recommend using a multiply module for the reason that it is way easier on the processor than dividing. So 0 0.1, let's try that. See if that makes a difference. So it makes a bit of a difference and that just gives us a slightly more depth to our volume envelope. Always worth trying to keep it as tidy as possible um, when you're creating your envelopes. So what I would do, I would put this all in a macro, just new macro and put it all in. But because we're not doing anything complex, we can leave it there. Now then, another thing we can do, we can make the attack react to the velocity. Now then what we need to do is look at the attack value and see as we play it, um, see that it doesn't change. That's because the attack is a constant at the moment. So what we're looking for is the range, 0 all the way up to 80. You can see on the function window it's 80 max minimum 0. So if we're adding 1 to this number that's not going to add much, it's going to be an one eightieth of a difference. So we're not going to see much difference at all. So what we need to do, built-in module, math, multiply. I say we multiply the value by, uh, what's the middle default? Default is 40, so I say we multiply by 40. And this should make a difference to the attack. Um, built-in module will then need to add it onto the attack. Ooh. The wiring can be a bit fiddly sometimes. So let's see if this works. Okay, so multiplying it by 40 is a bit much. 
So let's multiply it by 10 and see if that makes a difference. And I see why it was making a big difference because our attack was at 80 anyway. So let's let's just see if we can go back to 40. So you can hear the attack lengthens as I hit the key harder. So very gentle hit and very hard. Gentle, hard. So this is quite good, but it can be opposite to what you want. So what we could do instead of an add module, we could replace this with a subtract module. And what we could do is then create a switch, panel, switch, in, in, just rename plus minus. That's not working. So we've got plus minus and call this attack. Now bring this back up. One thing to note in Reactor is the switch is default to zero as their initial thing, and switches are one of the few modules that aren't zero indexed, so the first one is actually one. So if we set that to one and then set to default, when you open it up, it will be on the plus. Now then, let's try this. So gently, hard. Okay, so that's attack at plus. Now minus should be the opposite, gently, and hard, gently, and hard. Okay, so on the gently one, it's a bit more of a pronounced effect. Um, maybe what we want to do, actually it's fine, we'll just leave it, because when we hit at its hardest, it will subtract 40, because it's multiplied, and it will subtract all the way so the attack is zero. So this, provides the optimum range within the default value of the attack. Now as I say, we want this to be as tidy as possible. So let's try and isolate all the attack. Right, so for our attack, we have all of these, input there, output there. So what we can do, new macro, Built-in module, terminal in, built-in module, terminal out. Now what we can do, we can copy this, remembering that that's where the input goes, and that's where the output comes from. So, cut, paste, input goes in here, and it was the gate, and that goes out there, it was the attack. I've spelt that wrong, but it's all right. Okay, so this is our attack maths. We'll just call it attack maths. And hopefully I can type better than I am just now. Now then, the same can be done for the sustained maths. If we so desired, I think just for ease we might as well. Let's just duplicate this, rename it Sustain Maths. Sustain. Remember, gate goes into that one and the output goes into Sustain. So, brilliant. Cut. Paste. Delete that, Oop. edit, undo, let's keep the ins and outs, because we want them, and let's just in, out. So when I made the mistake there, I didn't do control Z, I did edit, undo, that's because control Z messes it up for you completely, well and truly messes it up. So don't do it. 
you will regret it so much. And we'll just keep them nice and tidy. We could also do it for the decay and the release, but I think that's fine for now. So let's just... So we have our attack, our decay, our sustain, which I'm going to remove the frame from, and our release. And we'll just neaten up the panel. Right, so I don't like having the values, so we just chop, chop, chop them out. And there we have it, we've got a slightly better, slightly better ADSR, slightly more reactive, and we can play about with how much the attack um, messes it up. So what we can finally do, we'll just call this velocity attack, and that just shows whether it attacks on an increase or a decrease. Now we have it, that is a slightly more complex than just gay ADSR controls, but it makes it so much more deep and it is way more fun to play about with. So there we have it. <laughs>